Welcome back to moreforlife.com. As always, I'm Michael Moore. In part two of our session with Christina, we defined her eyes. In part three, we'll add some color to her cheeks and lips. Let's get going. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using bronzer. And the bronzer that I'm picking for her, as you can tell, is a much more of a golden colored bronzer that really embraces her, her Latin skin. A lot of times when you're looking at bronzers, they tend to be a little too red, a little too almost muddy looking. You want to really make sure that we bring out the color of her skin. So we're gonna take that and what we're gonna be doing is we're taking, move the hair off the forehead and we're gonna be doing a three onto her face. A three, back and forth. A little bit right through there. And now you see that warmth of the body coming right into here. A lot of times when you see somebody that has a lot of color here and little color here, you might also need to put a little bit of that bronzer right down through here as well just to warm up the whole face. We're gonna actually use a combination of using a pink and an apricot tone. Putting this right in the apples of the cheek, bringing it right back down towards the nub of the ear. With her golden skin, when you're using a pink color, you wanna make sure that the pink color actually is a yellow-based pink instead of a blue-based pink. Take your big powder brush and blend this down. So I'm actually gonna be going to a very flesh tone that has a little bit more goldenness in it. It's like more of a nude lip color. And then we're gonna to go to a fleshy pink lip liner, starting with the Cupid's bow, coming from the outside in. And then we're gonna be using a gloss that will really enhance this a little bit more too, with a little bit of pink and a little bit of gold in it. This would be perfect for her to transcend into spring, summer, but it's also a great winter and fall lip color for her as well. So now what I wanna do is show another option for lips on you. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this lipstick. Simple way to do a quick change for your lips is take a little bit of your foundation and blend that right out and takes all that discoloration from like maybe your makeup wipe or something off there. So Christina is a young girl. She likes to play, she likes to have a lot of fun. So we're gonna actually go to something really bold and bright on her now for a fun evening color. But there's nothing wrong with using this really bright color either for like a daytime look with a very soft eye. This is a matte lipstick, so it's gonna give her a lot longer wearability. Matte lipsticks are spot on trend right now, but they've also been around for many, many years. It's always going to give you much more wearability if you're using a matte lipstick. So if you have a problem with your lipsticks bleeding, disappearing as the day goes on, go to matte. One problem with a matte lipstick is they tend to be drier. So if you are a woman who suffers from really dry lips, matte lipsticks are not the best for you. Two very different ways you can wear a matte lipstick. You can just apply it to the lip, let it sit there, make it look like it's applied to the lip, or you can give it a little bit more definition with a lip liner. Going back to your Cupid's bow, going from the outside in, giving her a little bit more depth and definition and blend that lip liner in with your lipstick. That's all for our session with Christina. I hope you enjoyed seeing her fun and beautiful transformation. Be sure to check out more of our videos right here on moreforlife.com. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.